Hi everyone. In this video, we'll talk about ketone body utilization. In my earlier video in the biochemistry playlist, I have already discussed about ketone body production and its metabolism. But today's video would be more focused on how ketone body is utilized once produced. Let's imagine we are undergoing starvation and in a starved state, our body do not get any caloric input externally that means we need energy right at that step and at that particular starved situation even if our body is not getting energy from outside but our internal vital organs cannot stop working for example our brain cannot stop firing our heart cannot stop pumping right so some alternative format of fuel is required to keep our body alive or keep our internal organs uh, active so in the starved state, the body would start to look for alternatives. First of all, it would use its own reserves. First of all, it would use its glycogen reserve, which is present in the muscles and in the liver. Now, once the glycogen reserve is over, it would start to use amino acids, fatty acids, whatever it can get to make glucose and utilize that. Now, whenever that is even finished, it would start break down the fatty acids. From the adipose tissue, it would start oxidizing the fat. And as a result, huge amount of acetyl-CoA would be produced. Now, you can see that our bodies try to uh, encounter the starved state by using several alternate options, right? But at a point of time, when the body is going undergoing prolonged starvation, all the res reserves and all the stored resources would be gone. And that situation, what the what the body would do? In this situation, body has its alternative fuel, a reserve fuel in a car. In this reserve fuel is known as ketone bodies. Now, just like any kind of situation, any kind of city, there is a factory which produce or manufactures a product and that product is now utilized in cities towns or villages right similarly if we think about ketone bodies as a product this product is produced by liver in a certain situation known as starvation or another disease situation which i'm not going to talk about in this video and once produced in the liver it is utilized in cardiac muscles in brain and in kidney now the question is that when does body starts making ketone body and exactly how the body or several internal organ of the body utilize that ketone body it turns out ketone body can easily go to the brain and serve as an alternative fuel and it can pass through the blood brain barrier, barrier thereby recharging the bra brain in the state of prolonged starvation imagine you don't have any cash in your hand but you need to pay your bills in that situation you can do two things one you can utilize your savings to pay your bills and the second thing you should stop saving at that moment when you don't have any money right you should rather focus on spending than saving now the situation for our body is the same in a starved state when we don't have calorie input our body should focus on more catabolic processes than an anabolic process question is at a molecular level how does our body know that we are undergoing an energy deficit let's look at that and in that perspective let's look at the ketone body metabolism in a bit so our body ha uses a currency which is ATP. Now ATP is the currency of the body, right? Now this energy currency would go down during the stage of fasting. And since ATP is utilized, the amount of AMP would be increased. So clearly there is a disbalance in the a AMP versus ATP ratio. Now this change can be recognized by certain sensors known as AMP dependent kinase or AMPK. 
AMPK is also known as Master Regulator of Catabolism. In a second, we would understand that. AMPK, out of many things, first thing what it would do is inhibit the mTOR complex. mTOR is known as the Master Regulator of catabolism, uh, Anabolism. So it is very similar to a process when you need to pay bills, you don't have money, you stop saving. So by stopping mTOR, AMPK ensures all the anabolic processes are paused for a moment. And now the body would focus more on spending whatever it has to generate energy. Now AMPK would give rise to activate PGC1 alpha. PGC1 alpha eventually activate PPAR1 alpha. Now this PPAR alpha give rise to or help in transcription of ketone body production. Uh, ketogenesis genes or the enzymes that is required for ketogenesis PG, PPAR alpha help to transcribe that and as a result the body would now start producing a lot of ketone bodies and now body is now more trained or more educated in terms of production of the ketone bodies now in normal state the brain can utilize glucose Glucose inside the brain in the process of glycolysis get converted into pyruvate and the pyruvate enters the TCA cycle and thereby produce energy. Now in the starved state what happens is the ketone body level in the blood is increasing. So the ketone body enters the brain with the help of monocarboxylate transporters MCT1 and MCT2. Once it is crossing the blood-brain barrier and it's in the brain, the brain can start utilizing or start breaking down that ketone body to make an intermediate that it can use to produce energy. One of the abundant ketone body is beta-hydroxybutyrate. Beta-hydroxybutyrate gets converted to acetoacetate by the help of the enzyme beta-hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase. Now, acetoacetates get converted to acetoacetyl-CoA by the help of beta-ketoacyl-CoA transferase. Remember, this beta-ketoacyl-CoA transferase enzyme is only present in extrahepatic tissues, not present in the liver. Now, why it should be present in the liver? Because if it is present in the liver, it would break down ketone there, right? So, we don't need any mechanism which can break down ketones in the liver because liver is the production hub of ketone bodies and we don't want the liver to break down ketone there so otherwise other part of the body won't utilize the ketone body right so beta ketoacyl coa transferase is not present in liver but it's present in other tissues like brain like heart like kidney etc now from acetoacetyl coa thiolase would convert it to acetyl coa now this acetyl coa can be channeled into the tca cycle now brain really doesn't care where does it get the acetyl coa from once it has the acetyl coa it can channel it into tca cycle to get energy right and that is how even in the starved state the brain don't stop functioning and it can still get the energy that it needs same situation is uh, valid for the heart and the kidneys where with the help of same enzyme the keto bodies are broken down and the acetyl coa can be utilized in the tca cycle to produce energy and that pretty much summarize how ketone bodies are utilized in the extra hepatic tissues during starvation and also we have discussed that how body senses that there is an energy deficit and now it has to start producing and utilizing ketone bodies in several places i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you